Hi, it's Guy from DecadentDecaf.com, the UK's leading decaffeinated coffee brand. Today, we're going to ask the question, how is coffee decaffeinated? There are three main methods of decaffeination. The Swiss water process, the CO2 process, the methylene chloride process, and ethyl acetate decaf process. Let's go through these processes one by one. The Swiss water process is certified 99.9% .9 caffeine free and uses only water to decaffeinate the coffee beans. Developed in Switzerland in the 1980s, the Swiss water process is a chemical free process. The green, raw coffee beans are immersed in water to extract the caffeine using water saturated with desirable coffee components, thereby reducing the extraction of coffee oils and flavours during the decaffeination process. This means the caffeine is extracted, but not the flavour. The steaming process takes 8-10 to 10 hours and involves moving the decaf batch into various baths of steam. The CO2 decaf process The CO2 decaf process was developed by Dr. Kurt Sosel of the Max Planck Institute. In science speak, the CO2 process is called supercritical fluid extraction. Basically, the process starts with the beans being immersed in carbon dioxide for around 10 hours. The process is sometimes called the sparkling water decaf process. After a thorough soaking, the pressurised CO2 containing dissolved caffeine is removed from the chamber, which is returned to atmospheric pressure, allowing the CO2 to evaporate. This allows the caffeine to be removed using charcoal filters. In environmental terms, the CO2 used is in a permanent cycle rather than vented to atmosphere. There will be some further off-gassing when the beans are removed from the system, but for the most part, it's a closed system, which is good news for the environment. The methylene chloride deca decaf process. Methylene chloride solvent decaffeination, or MCP for short, is the old fashioned way to decaffeinate coffee. And it's still how the vast majority of coffee is decaffeinated globally. When you drink decaffeinated instant coffee, it will almost certainly be decaffeinated using the methylene chloride solvent process. Likewise, if there's no mention of how the roast coffee was decaffeinated on the, po on the packet, again, it's almost certain to be MCP. Methylene chloride is a colourless chemical solvent in liquid form with a slightly sweet aroma with a boiling point of 104 Fahrenheit. It's a chemical solvent with multiple uses, including as a paint remover and hairspray. First, the coffee beans are treated with steam to draw the caffeine from the inner coffee bean to the outer surface area of the bean. Methylene chloride is then applied directly to the beans. As a chemical solvent, methylene chloride removes the caffeine. Then, steam is applied to the coffee beans again to drive out residual solvent. Finally, the beans are dried and roasted, which removes any further residues of the chemical solvent. Ethyl acetate decaf process. An increasingly popular decaffeination process is the ethyl acetate decaf process, or EAP for short. It's often called sugarcane decaf by roasters. Simply put, the ethyl acetate decaf method uses a natural solvent, ethyl acetate, to decaffeinate the coffee beans. Ethyl acetate is seen by some to be more natural than other chemicals since it exists naturally in minute quantities in ripening vegetation such as sugarcane, apples and blackberries. Therefore, since this solvent occurs in nature, it is often marked as naturally decaffeinated or as sugarcane decaf. Since ethyl acetate is usually sourced as a byproduct from the fermentation of sugarcane during the manufacture of processed sugar. But according to various scientific sources, sources coffee confidential, because of the cost of gathering natural ethyl acetate, the chemical used for decaffeination is often actually synthetic. This is because ethyl acetate can be more affordably sourced and manufactured using ethyl alcohol and acetic acid both of which are normally produced from natural ingredients and petroleum derivatives. The EAP process starts when the green beans are first soaked in water and then steamed in order to expand the cells of the bean. 
Then, the green beans are then soaked and washed in ethyl acetate solution, which attracts and removes the caffeine. After the ethyl acetate wash, the coffee is then rinsed, dried and packed for shipping. We recommend the Swiss water process of decaffeination, which uses water, no chemicals, to decaffeinate the coffee beans and is 99.9% .9 caffeine free. To find out more about Decadent Decaf, please visit www.decadentdecaf.com or check out our YouTube channel for more videos on decaf, caffeine and coffee topics.